uh, to start off, I mean, we did visit a lot of architecture schools. And to a large extent, there is as many purpose-built architecture schools as there are architecture schools that have taken over other spaces. And interestingly enough, I don't necessarily think that one actually ended up to be better than the other, that somehow architects have the capacity to utilize spaces and program spaces in such a way that even if it was a building meant for something else, that it still turns out giving it a particular personality in terms of how, how architecture school work. And one can probably see that most in the crit space in the sense that um, that you have this almost this kind of field of of making where where students are developing research and coming up with forms and objects and, and buildings and so forth. But at the end of the day, in the same way that the building pushes against the historic context, the crit space is that also that kind of same kind of resistance that that you cannot just keep on doing something and it just shows itself at the end and that is what it is that there as much as a historic Greenwich is a resistance the crit space is a resistance and the crit space is designed as this kind of two-story high space because if we at the if we if we at the end of the day made that one story height and created more studio space in an Excel spreadsheet, it would inevitably void the kind of so-called resistance of the critique. And the critique is effectively when the student does their work and it is against, I guess, the jury that they have to defend their work. I felt, I felt in some ways, one, well, a lot of people can say you can just do a building, it, it can be about uh, an architecture school and just pushes against the context that it is seen what it is and uh, from the very start we did we did feel that within historic Greenwich that there was an important kind of necessity from our point of view to retain the kind of so-called uh, historic block and part of this building was to restore that not necessarily because it's I guess um, prestige or anything like that we want to kind of recreate what has been um, but the ha there is an urban structure, whether it's the streets, whether it's the pedestrian flows, that is still very much active. And that does very much move along that urban block. And um, uh, the, the, the materiality of the stone and the kind of continuity of that urban block and its relationship to the outside, one should possibly see as kind of an outdoor room, whether it's a kind of any of these great streets, public streets and things like that. And, and it's as much about making the outdoor room a kind of continuity as it is about the kind of indoor space of the studio.